gonna lose it. Now we don't need to spell that count because our damn phones, man, our phones do that for us. I'm gonna tell y'all straight up, this ain't gonna end well, believe you me. Autocorrect on my damn phone, it gets me into enough trouble with my queen. How many times have I had to say, oh baby, you know what? I meant to send you, I wanna eat your casserole. Hello. Let's go to line four. Mr. Chuck, you're on the show. How can we go beyond insemination together? Yeah, hey, Dwayne. I'm a big fan of the show, by the way. Uh, but first time call. <laughs> I wanted to thank you for your bass fishing advice. You know, you're right. Dynamite is much easier than all that sitting around with a pole going mad, standing tiny ripples. Wondering if everyone really hates you. Chuck, I'm with you. I mean, platonically speaking, of course. I've about had it with gender fluidity. For reals. Seriously. For real. Seriously. Men is men and girls is ladies. And there ain't no point in telling me different. I mean, it's getting to where boys have bigger titties than a woman. I know I do. It's got to stop. I'll tell you what really sets me off. <laughs> Let me tell you. Me and the boys will be having a great afternoon. A couple of cases of lager light, some steaks on the grill, and jumping on four wheelers to shoot assault rifles and playing on the trampolines. That's and my car! The pink peyote! Somebody Man, sorry about that! Shit. And out of the corner of my periphery, I see these fruity fellas riding bicycles. City boys coming out to the country with their brightly colored jerseys and fruity hats and tight shorts. I don't want to see your Johnson. We ain't friends. And they ride bicycles with tap shoes on. Fucking tap shoes. Right. Oh, just in case they need to jump off and sing a show to. What the hell is that? Oh, it's it's a Dixie, I can tell you that because nobody likes a whistler. Creepy bastards. Yeah, man, look, I'm gonna leave you for the ambulance, all right? Anyway, my kid is real good at sports, like football and that. I think he's gonna get a scholarship. He hits real good, a real good, like, like one of them crackheads you read about them picking up north. But my wife won't let him play because his grades are low on account of him getting his girlfriend pregnant. Uh, uh, him, I mean, uh, not my wife. My, my wife can't get pregnant no more. Uh, uterus is ravaged like a project. Anyway, I need that boy to make a lot of money by going pro. So I can get a new fast boat. What am I gonna do? The state of San Andreas is in big...
hear me coming? Hey, Molly. I'm outside the studio. All right. Go over the wall and find the car on the lot. And then what? Only the principal actors and stunt people are authorized to go near it. So you could get in wardrobe and play the part or try something else. All right. When you're out of there and clear of studio security, call me. Hey, Molly. I'm outside the studio. All right. Go over the wall and find the car on the lot. And then what? Only the principal actors and stunt people are authorized to go near it. So you could get in wardrobe and play the part or try something else. All right. When you're out of there and clear of studio security, call me. Can you believe it? I train eight hours a day for this part. 
You need to get on set. Where the hell is Brandon? Jesus! Are you gonna find him? Someone's gonna find him! What is the point of building all these sets? We gotta put Brandon's head on the guy's body in post! Hey, yeah, somebody do this. something! Step out of that car! You're training but he can change his route and meet you there yeah okay because i got the car and it was messy that's fine with us but your associate michael de santa has done some work at the studio and he might not be so happy yeah yeah whatever what kind of shape is the car in well whatever we plan on refitting the guns to take live ammunition do the traffic spike and ejector seat need replacing too the traffic spikes are still there but you're gonna need a new seat good one more thing. Mr. Weston's security detail are concerned about a suspicious figure near the garage. Let us know if you see something. You're developing quite the rep there, Slick. Insurance companies hate these kinds of claims. They don't like cats with the inside edge shorten them either. So how'd it go? Smooth enough, you know. Movie people. You know what the irony is? I'm a major shareholder in that same studio, so we just did is practically legal. Ha! Practically. Oh shit! Look at this motherfucker. You doing it big, my nigga, on the set. Lamar, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, chirped your boy Trevor. It's fucked up when you gotta get your GPS location on your homeboys through a motherfucking speed freak. True that. Devin Weston, master of the two-hour female orgasm. What it is, Holmes? Lamar Davies. He was just leaving. Hey, not on my account. You looking for gainful employment, homie? Hell yeah, I'm always trying to get some motherfucking paper. Just the type of guy I like to work with. Predictable. Hey, we could bring your boy here in on the last part of the shipment. Oh, yeah, nigga, that's exactly what you could do. That's exactly Hell what you yeah. could do right man, there, yeah, man. Exactly. If you want him in, then you get him to boost the rest of the shit you got. Oh. Give me my money and I can go on oh, with my motherfucking oh. life. Oh, no, am I sensing tension here, Slick? <gasps> He's the spirit, but you're the brains. Am I wrong? I can see it. Look, I need you on point when we move this stuff out of town. 
Yeah, whatever, man. Call me when it's done. And after this, make sure we got our motherfucking check, all right? Ciao, baby. It is what it is. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, come here. I'm gonna put you in touch with my legal counsel. Hey, hey, don't touch me, homie. I don't get down like that. Yeah, let me tell you how the world works, Slim. 